Good morning, Max. Good morning, Michael. In light of all the messages we hear in this conference here about the continuous care, uh, I've heard that you've conducted uh, a survey recently about um, the investments and the future plans of hospitals in Western Europe, some emerging countries. Um, what have you found in your survey? Yeah, it's very interesting. Actually, IDC has been looking at the transformation of healthcare for a few years now, and it looks like there's a shift towards more integrated care service delivery. It is about putting the patient at the center and coordinating care across hospitals, primary care centers, and maybe interacting also in a different way with life science and payers as well. And clearly, information is at the center of that transformation. Information being the connective tissue for collaboration among clinicians and administrators and enabling more appropriate care, which means more effective, more compliant, ethical, as well as more cost effective, because we need to remember that we're in Europe at times of austerity and governments are trying to control healthcare expenditure. And this survey actually tried to compare what's going on in Western Europe, particularly in the UK, Germany and France, with some of the emerging countries in Middle East and Africa, like Turkey, South Africa and Saudi Arabia. And there are some very interesting common patterns and some differences as well. The common pattern is that with the increasing burden of chronic diseases and elderly population, shifting the center of gravity outside of hospital and enabling more collaboration is key. Therefore, building an integrated patient record is paramount to allow clinicians to access relevant information at the right time. The challenge, though, is besides budget, that in most environments, particularly the mature environment in Western Europe, and this is a big difference compared to Middle East and Africa, there's a lot of legacy. It's a fragmented environment. There are siloed systems that are dealing with patient record management, with clinical workflow, with administrative workflows, and connecting the dots among all of those silos is a real challenge. Decoupling the data, the relevant patient data, in a safe and secure way, to enable better intelligence and analysis at the right time for the patient in the community is a real key challenge. And that is what really comes out of our survey. To improve patient safety, which is priority number one for chief medical officer and chief executive officers in hospitals. More coordination at the regional and possibly at the national level is necessary and information technologies like document life cycle management and big data can give a big contribution but there are challenges to be overcome definitely definitely thanks michael thank you